Thank you to channel members Catherine Crossan, Aaron Joseph, Sabrina, Gabriela Silo, M.W., Jamie Rodriguez, Farnese One, Credessa O'Hagan, and Lego Grego. St. Joseph of Ita Pidanga, Part 4 Revelations to Edson Glauber March 3, 1998 St. Joseph came dressed in a white tunic and a white cloak, holding a lily and the child Jesus, also in white, on his lap. My beloved son, listen and make it known to all men what God has permitted me to reveal to you, how sin spreads in such a strong way. Men allow themselves to be led by the wiles of the devil. The enemy of salvation wants to destroy all men so that this way all will be lost. He is envious and hates the entire human race. So many go through trials and temptations that the enemy of God throws at every moment, this way trying to destroy men's immortal souls that were created by God. The means that he most utilizes are the sins against holy purity, because purity is one of the virtues most beloved by God. And in this way, Satan desires to destroy the image of God present in each creature through this virtue. And it is because of this that God asks all humanity to have devotion to my chaste heart. He wants to give men the grace to overcome the temptations and attacks of the devil in their day-to-day -day lives. The invocation of my name is enough to make the demons flee. I promise to all the faithful that honor my most chaste heart with faith and love, the grace to live with holy purity of soul and body, and the strength to resist all attacks and temptations by the devil. I will preciously protect you. This grace is not only destined for those who honor this chaste heart of mine, but also for all their family members who are in need of divine help. I give you my blessing, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. End of part four.